In this video, we're going to discuss the potential signs and symptoms of ovarian cancer, which affects the two small organs called the ovaries that store the eggs needed to make babies. We'll also discuss what you need to tell your doctor if you have any of these symptoms and what they should do when they assess you. So anyone with ovaries can get ovarian cancer, but it mostly affects those over 50 years old. And sometimes ovarian cancer is hereditary, meaning that it runs in families. Now, sadly, ovarian cancer is often diagnosed late, but early diagnosis can mean it's more treatable and so I really hope this video is useful and informative. Now it's important to mention that many of the symptoms of ovarian cancer can be vague and they can also overlap with other conditions but if you are experiencing any of the following symptoms frequently and by frequently I mean 12 or more times in a month then it's really important to speak to your doctor. So these are a swollen tummy or feeling bloated, especially if you can visibly see that your tummy is swollen, pain or tenderness in your tummy or the area between the hips, which is known as the pelvis, no appetite or feeling full quickly after eating, and an urgent need to pee or needing to pee more often. Now this symptom is important as often it's a symptom that's overlooked possibly as recurrent urinary tract infections, even though your urine dipstick test and urine culture tests might keep coming back as normal. And the reason for this symptom is usually that ovarian cancer cells have studded the outside of the bladder wall or when fluid in the pelvis is compressing or pushing down on the bladder, causing you to feel like you need to go to the toilet more often to pee. Now, other symptoms of ovarian cancer can include bleeding from the vagina after the menopause, losing weight without trying, indigestion, constipation or diarrhea or a change in your bowel habits, back pain or feeling tired all of the time. Now it's also important to mention that in some circumstances, albeit much less, some women with ovarian cancer actually report weight gain. The reason for this is most likely due to fluid accumulation in the abdomen, which is called ascites, which we discussed earlier when we spoke about the need to pee more often, which can result in bloating and increased weight gain. Now I really do want to stress that it's important to remember that these symptoms are very common in many other conditions. And so I don't want this video to cause you unnecessary alarm, but as the saying goes, it's better to be safe than sorry, and it's still important to get them checked out by a doctor. And that's because if they are symptoms that are being caused by a cancer, finding it early can mean it's more treatable. I know this is a scary time if this is going on for you, but your doctor will act in a professional manner and will get you the help that you need if this is required. So what happens when you do go see your doctor? Well, the doctor or nurse will want to ask you about your general health and the symptoms you've been experiencing, including how long they've been going on for. It's also important for you to tell your doctor or nurse if anyone in your family has or had ovarian or breast cancer, because as I mentioned earlier in the video, this cancer can run in families. The doctor or practice nurse may then examine you. Now you can ask for a female doctor or nurse when you book your appointment if this is going to make you feel more comfortable and you're also within your rights to have a friend, family member or other member of staff known as a chaperone with you in the room when you're having the exam done if you want to. So please don't be afraid to ask for this if it's going to make you feel more comfortable. Now if the doctor or nurse examines you, you'll be asked to undress from the waist down behind a curtain and you're going to be given a sheet to put over you. Now the examination might involve them pressing on your tummy and inside your vagina to check for lumps or tender or sore areas. Now they may also gently put a smooth tube shaped tool known as a speculum into your vagina so they can see inside this area. Now this shouldn't be painful but if you do find it uncomfortable then please do just tell the doctor or nurse. Depending on their assessment the doctor or practice nurse may refer you for other tests such as a blood test called CA125 or to see a specialist in hospital if they think you've got a condition like a cancer that needs to be investigated. Now here in the UK, this will likely be an urgent referral, usually within two weeks if you have certain symptoms. Remember this doesn't necessarily mean you have cancer, but if it is cancer, then it can mean treating it is more successful if picked up at an earlier stage. I've included more trusted resources that I've reviewed in the description box of this video for you to read in your own time if you want to learn more about ovarian cancer. And please can I ask that if you have seen your doctor about this problem or if you or a loved one has had ovarian cancer and you're willing to share your experiences here, please do so in the comments section. Sharing these experiences can be really useful for other people going through similar problems at this time. If you've learned something new from this video, please do consider liking it and subscribing to the channel for weekly medical education videos. I hope you learned something new and found this video informative. And until next time, thanks for watching and bye.